Hey everybody, you know, you're out there, you're cruising eBay, you're looking for a deal. Well, I found one and what caught my eye was the outrageous title of it. So of course, I had to buy it. Hi there, I'm Gregory Richards and this is 3D Archery. The ad that caught our eye is a classic example of deceptive advertising from the American flag, which implies American made, to the claim of one day shipping in bold letters. Oh, it doesn't end there. The bow is listed as Outdoor Camping Hunting Archery Recurve Bow Set Take Down Longbow Training Gear. What the hell is that? Then, right underneath that, it states U.S. stock and one-day shipping in USPS fast delivery and high quality. Oh, 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 but there's more. Down in the item specifics, under type, it says it's a Mongolian bow. And under dexterity, it says it's ambidextrous, despite it's clearly being a right-handed bow. But to show that it is, they included this awesome picture of a person shooting it left-handed with his pant legs rolled up in a shallow stream. So let's review this. This bow is advertised as an outdoor camping hunting recurve bow set that is also a longbow training gear and it is of the Mongolian bow type that is ambidextrous and made of high quality and shipped within one day. And you'll get all this for just $35 plus shipping. Excited about owning such an incredible bow, we bought one. And just 24 hours later, we received an email saying the bow is shipped. The bow arrived about four days later. Four days to get from New Jersey to New York. So much for fast delivery. When it arrived, we were greeted with a small box that I have to say was not in the best of shape, but clearly marked on the box was made in China. So what did we get for our $35? Well, we got a 14.5 inch riser it was made of painted wood and was so light that we thought that wood was pine. Later, we sanded the bow to get the paint off it and we discovered that that was not pine. It looked like oak, although the ad says it's elm. Now, let's go back to this riser. This riser has next to no finishing work done to it. You will still see tool marks and such in the wood, the scrapings where they sanded it and they didn't even do it smoothly. You know, if you gave a third grader a block of wood and told him to make a riser, this is probably what you'd get. You know, the cutout for the shelf, it's small, straight line and angular. It looks like it was, it was an afterthought. And if, at a critical junction, where the riser and the shelf meet, you can see they cut it in too far in one direction and they left that little cutout right there. You know, that's a potential break spot. The plate and rest, well, they're already attached and they're made from some cheap Velcro. You know, to say that the riser left us disappointed, that would be an understatement. The limbs were 24 and 1 8 inches in length. You know, the limbs, I have to say, were about as flat as Nebraska. This is no recurve, or nowhere near being a Mongolian bow. This was a long bowish type of thingamabob that defies description. On the plus side, each limb had its own plastic tip protector, which probably cost more than everything else on the bow. But I have to say, as much as all that blew me away, it paled in comparison to the string. This string left us speechless. The string had no serving on the loops. 
So you know this is going to wear. And it's not a question of if the string would fail, but when. Also included was four bolts and washers and an Allen wrench, which I have to say was probably the best part of the set. Highest quality, and it's what you expected. And once assembled, the bow measured a whopping 55.5 inches. And looking at it, it can only be described as one way. Ugly. Once assembled, it was time to test it. And you know, the first time we drew the string back, we heard a loud crack. We stopped right there and we took the bow apart to inspect it. And to our horror, we found that the inserts were not glued in. They were simply screwed into the wood. And when we took it apart, the whole insert came right out with the nut. You know, undaunted, we pressed on with our testing, and this is what we found. The draw weight. The bow was, we bought was advertised as 30 pounds, and to our surprise, it came in really close to that. We have to say this does not feel like 30 pounds when you pull it. This bow feels more like 15. But we threw it on our scale, and when we tested it, it came out at 26 inches, it was 23 pounds. At 27 inches, it was 26 pounds, and at 28 inches, it was 29 pounds. And with the previous cracking and knowing the inserts weren't glued in, we didn't feel comfortable going past 28 inches. And personally, we would not recommend anybody doing or even thinking about going over that length for your draw. With the draw weight known, up next was the speed test. We shot 20 arrows of the bow during this test with our highest speed of 120 feet per second and the lowest was 81. The average speed was 106 feet per second. Needless to say, this bow will not be setting any speed records soon. Not being smart enough to bring a pair of safety glasses with me and being nervous about the poor build quality and the substandard string which was bound to fail, well, I chose to wear my normal glasses just in case. I mean, something's better than nothing, right? You know, we wanted to see how consistent this bow shot, despite all the things wrong with it. So we took it to the indoor range and shot it at a 40 centimeter target from 20 yards. What we found was a bow that was easy to draw, felt lighter than what it was, and had zero hand shock. We were able to hit where we wanted, but we found this bow to be very sensitive and any deviation in your form will show up downrange. After doing that, we took the bow outside and we just played with it. You know, we shot some 3D animals, we shot some muzzy blocks, we even shot at the occasional stump. You know, the more time we spent with the bow, like anything else, the better we got with it, the more we learned about it. And we have to say, in fact, we got to a point where we quit worrying about it blowing up in our faces and just shot with it and had fun with it and played with it. And well, in our short time with it, a couple hours of shooting, we were able to come away with what we feel is an accurate view of this bow. And we're gonna cover that next in our hits and misses. We here at 3D Archery, we don't like just to slam things. So we couldn't just make this video and not give any hits. So we looked hard, we worked hard, and we thought about it. We came up with one hit. And that is no hand shock. I have to admit, despite the poor design, the poor build quality, there's no hand shock. And that was our only hit. So there's a plus for the bow. Now for the misses, well, we could probably go on for a month, but we're gonna narrow it down to a few. First, the ad was misleading. It is not a recurved bow set. It's not the Mongolian bow. It's not ambidextrous. Right, it's not made in America. So many misleading things, it'll sucker people into it. So putting that aside, what about the bow itself? Well, it's not only ugly, it's butt ugly. Like I said, it looked like you, a third grader could come out with a better riser cut out than this and put more time into it. The finishing was horrible. It's of dubious quality. The inserts for the bolts are not even glued. They're just screwed in. Right? You're not too sure about the wood. They painted it so you can't tell if the grains are the right type of grains. You know, it's just 
it's cheap. And last is it's slow. I mean, it is <laughs> slow. The 120 feet per second, I had, I was pulling for everything I was worth. But in reality, most of my shots were about 105 feet per second. All right, and there you have it. The hits and the misses, and I could go on all weeks with the misses. But let's wrap all this up, and we'll give you our opinion of this bow. Everybody, there you have it. You know, this bow represents everything that's negative about the words made in China. From the sloppy design, the poor workmanship, just being cheap, being ugly. Um, I wouldn't wish this bow on anybody. And I have to say is this. Do yourself a favor and skip it. Don't buy this bow. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time with an all-new episode. 3D Archery.